What are you most looking forward to? College. Play in front of a student section and kind of going to school again. Gabe Perot turns it over, right in front, they score! And the USA line once again strikes first! In practice, he, he competes as hard as, as in the game. He's got an intensity to his, his whole game. He pushes me that I want to be him, and yeah. then I push him that he wants to be me. As these first few months, have they lived up to the hype? Yeah, um, they've definitely met the standards that everyone kind of talks about and kind of looks forward to in coming to school. Um, you've kind of seen it with the sellouts that we've had this year. The student body has been amazing to all of us. The student interaction just kind of brings out another side of personnel in you, and it just kind of makes the place really special here. First four games this season, you were picking up some assists, but you hadn't scored a goal. Mm -hmm. Then you got one, I believe, against Michigan State, and yeah. you basically have been scoring ever since. Like, what what clicked? Did something just kind of click for you there? I, I I don't know. I don't know why the puck wasn't going at the start. There was chances there for sure. Will Smith, blue line. That shot deflected in front. Comes near side, Perot centers up, and Leonard scores! First career goal for Ryan Leonard! Everybody kind of told me once that one goes in, they're all just going to come natural and you're going to start getting bounces. So I think just kind of settling in and obviously the two guys I play with on my, um, on my left and in the middle, um, they're pretty special players. So it was just a matter of time before we were all scoring and kind of being a line that really contributes to this team. You score in all different kinds of ways, mm -hmm. tippins, rebounds, snipes, but the one against Notre Dame where you yeah. guys just like tic-tac-toed up the yeah. ice, like Notre Dame players weren't even there, that yeah. had to have been your favorite, right? Yeah, I think just that whole sequence. Uh, yeah. I honestly, I was the third forward kind of in the play. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of why I scored, but I thought Will had a breakaway. I thought he was going to take it in. And then all of a sudden he dropped it to Gabe and then yeah. Gabe takes a peek at me for a split second and next thing you know it's right on my tape and I just tried to put all the weight I had behind it and look, picked a corner pretty good. I think the chemistry just kind of speaks for itself. Uh, I think that was kind of our one play that kind of put us on the map honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, playing with those guys, you can see it in practice. The, the plays are there, we kind of know where each other are at all times, so it's, it's a lot of fun playing with those guys. What NHL or do you kind of pattern your game after? When, I know you're a student of the game, when, when you watch the game, like who do you say, I want to be like that guy? Yeah, I think ultimately on the Capitals, um, obviously Tom Wilson. Yeah. I think he's kind of a person that kind of drives the caps and kind of what the team looks for. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously Matthew Kachuk and maybe a little bit of Alex Tuck too. Okay. Um, just kind of all their attributes that they bring and kind of skilled, but kind of have that tenacity and kind of grit to their game and just kind of bring it all every night. Do you have a favorite way to score? Uh, you know, like, like with Ovi, it's it's the one timer. Right? Yeah. Uh, Oshi, it's the from the diamond on the power play. Do you, uh, have, a, do you have a way? I mean, it depends. Um, yeah. Sometimes, like you said, you like a little greaser uh, right in front <laughs> of the net that just kind of comes to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everybody obviously likes the flashy goals here and there, but I don't really think that's kind of like who I am. Like, I'll score a nice goal here and there, but. I think probably my favorite is kind of when a puck's loose and it kind of finds me and I put it in. It's always going to bring a little smile to your face and kind of help you play a little bit looser, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think especially scoring in, in Conti with everybody here, I think that brings out a pretty joy side of me. Another thing that really jumps out to me about your game is just your competitiveness. I can tell you hate to lose. Yeah. And this goes back to the development camp story. I, yeah. I, I went back and I watched that little highlight package they had of you. Boys, we need to get on the score sheet. We're forwards. Come on. Hey, you young Corby? Hey, you over there. Cool. Yeah. Boys, let's go. Oh, it's for the championship. That's a championship. Where's our trophy? Where does that competitiveness come from and do you feel like that's part of your DNA? Yeah, I think uh, growing up, being in a house with three older people in the house and my brother being the next one up, uh, yeah. kind of just picking on you and making you a better person. Yeah. But ultimately, I think that's where the competitive comes from. Yeah. Um, with my family being all sports minded and all yeah. that, um, I think it's just kind of like in my, like you said, in my DNA and just kind of a part of me. But once it once a game's kind of coming close and we're losing, ultimately there's probably a very competitive side that will come out of me.